I'm Adam Niffen. And I'm Jeremy Cocaine. This is Smith Welding Restoration. Nothing to add to that? <laughs> well, it's, you know, that's where we work. That's what we do. We make things pretty. All right, let's go outside and look at this. Um, told you all we're doing this uh, paint job on a Bobcat telehandler. Um, no, well, I'll show you what I got going on. A lot of scale and loose paint. You know, we still got some up there to detail in various places to detail out. But what we've done so far seemed to work really well for us, thankfully. Um, this is all self-contained, so you can actually blast away so long as all your fittings are in solid shape. Um, so that, that pretty much all the heavy rust I wanted to get, except for that right there and a little bit up here, they wanted to get detailed out today. I got this section back here left, this is kind of what we started with, and worse in some areas. And it's just scale, it's actually eroded some of the steel in places as much as, oh I'd say 3 30 seconds of an inch. Stickers. We'll take some components off if we need to. But in all, and then I've treated this with a spray that's supposed to kick the rust. It looks like it's doing its job. So we started that job, uh, Jeremy and I bet we spent a cumulative of three hours and between the roll lock and the high speed sander probably spent $20 of discs and all we got done was some of the front section there, I don't know, four or six square feet of the bad rust. Today I got in, uh, this is Saturday, right before Mother's Day, so all you out there, all you mothers out there, happy day. Um, and so, and so this is Saturday, I came in expecting really to spend all fucking day knocking down the big portions of rust, leaving a little bit of detail work, and then I can start doing, I'll do a little bit of body work where it's just so eroded, we just want to straighten it out. It doesn't need it, I mean, it's a big machine but taking pride in what we do and how we do it is is key even if it's just a piece of construction equipment that's their yard forklift for the trucking company next door um pot blaster bag and a half of white sand i got all those areas uh, my beekeeper's helmet i broke the lens and you couldn't see out of it so really I put a dust mask on, long sleeves, gloves, and I got a pair of number five shade welding goggles. They're like your riding, your motorcycle riding goggles that seal around the eye socket and a hat. That was about, oh, I'd say 95% effective. At least as effective as the beekeeper's hat. So I'm not upset about that. Um, took me an hour by myself to do six or eight times the footage and ten dollars in sand. If you break it down, your average shop cost, let's say low average shop cost, they're gonna sell the sand for, let's say it was twenty dollars of sand. That would have been seventy bucks in, in blasting right there with an hour of shop labor and the sand. The front section, I just, I, I wanna, Production definitely has a virtue in all of this, and we have to observe that. Um, what Jeremy and I did would have equated to 200 plus dollars in shop time and materials. Yeah, I think you get see where I, I think you're picking up what I'm laying down. Um, there's multiple methods to do every job. If you're relying on a paycheck, you've got to go with what produces results the best 
the cheapest, the fastest. Not always in that order. Pick your battles, pick them wisely. So yeah, I got all this painted up down here. Still tacky. Got the front. Mostly we're running around with a piece of cardboard as a shield to go around stuff. Um, we'll paint this in the morning. Down in there. I gotta etch prime those areas after we prep off those pipes. Um, we got this all done. And bed liner that I tinted. It's all done in bed liner that I tinted. All the way up to here, so when it's slinging mud, it's not fucking everything up. So this will get painted white. This whole section here down will get painted white. We use the old box method and got this. Oop, look at that. It's a big old run. I'll cut that off and I'll touch it up. It's a piece of machinery. That's probably even acceptable, but we're not going to let it leave that way. And we got the back done. Um... Got this all painted all the way down to there. Essentially, we got it all painted in one position. We'll turn the wheels to the other position, get everything else painted. Got all this painted up. Ooh, let's get some light on the situation, shall we? So we got all that. Again, tinted bed liner. Because this was white before, if you recall. Or just look back earlier in the video. Got all that cleaned up, it needs etch prime, but we gotta turn these wheels again to get back in there. Uh, we'll get these prepped off where we can just lay a tarp over the tire so we can shoot that tubing. Um, yep. Here we go, that has to be prepped off there. That's all prepped off already, that's black already. So all the bed liner parts are done. We're gonna go ahead and paint that white again, but I bedlinered it because, 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 I don't know why. Um, last and least, we will take that outside, take the forks off, and that knuckle, if you look, there's kind of a natural division point on the knuckle, so we're gonna actually tint the bed liner and do that in bed liner too. We'll spray that with the shoots gun. Um, we're actually going to make a break at this line here. And finish painting this down once we can, again, move the wheel. <sighs> so, essentially it's industrial machinery painting week. Um, I think we figured it almost exactly right as far as resources and man hours. So that makes me feel good. Um, only thing worse than figuring something too high and losing the job or feeling like you ripped off a customer, and both have happened. I mean, Especially if we get into a job and I feel like, oh, we, we might have over-figured this. If I run in that circumstance, I take and, yeah, I'm, I'm working on quitting, folks. Half a pack a day, so we're, we're still down there. Fell off the wagon this weekend. Um, if I've run in that situation before, I'm like, ooh, I over-figured this. It's going to take fewer resources and man hours. We'll just go ahead and take it the extra two, three steps, levels up, you know, make it nicer, whatever it is we're working on. So I make sure it's equitable for the owner of the project. Um, but anyhow, the only thing worse than bidding too high or figuring too high and not getting the job is figuring too low and losing your ass in the job. You don't want a job where you feel resentful to the owners we've got some of them we've dealt with some of them so that is bobcat telehandler versa handler i guess is what it's called um we're going to ship this back over to uh, rick seward and seward trucking tomorrow and then we may just go over to his shop because literally it's next door and slap the decals on when he's got them but we need it out of here as soon as 
If it's not raining tomorrow and the paint's still tacky, we're taking it to his shop. How's that? We're getting it out of here as quickly as we can because I think you understand why it's eating up all of our shop space. All right, well, this is the big hill handler we did for sewer trucking. Hung out outside last night. No worse for wear, I see. Everything's looking pretty good, what we've done. The concerns we have is, this side's not so bad, but it's still pretty textured, it's pretty rough. We sandblasted, ground down, uh, used a rust neutralizer, and then etch prime that, and then painted it. Same thing on this other side, I'll show you. And we got some concerns about. that we didn't get pulled off um, see there that's not as nice as I'd like it in there but we did grind it we use the rust neutralizer if this comes up an issue we're gonna have to redress it it's a piece of machinery but we don't want it rusting right away last thing I didn't really show you guys was on a knuckle here I cleaned it up and we actually used bed liner I tinted that bed liner again and use it on the main knuckle here because it was really crusty and flaky all through here so that looks pretty decent we etch prime anything we etch prime anything it was left raw steel so um really that's it project done i'll talk to you later wow you made it in a video thanks for checking in come back on the next one See what the hell we're we'll doing next time. Subscribe, comment, find us on the old, over on the old Facebook, uh, Smith Welding Restoration LLC on Facebook. Uh, numbers at the beginning. Have any questions? Call.